Okay, Tom, so we're just, polls are closed, just minutes ago. How do you assess the DB performance the last time? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the performance that we have had, with the response we've had on the doorsteps. Mm -hmm. uh, we've met quite a number of people on the doorsteps over this past number of weeks. Uh, we've been getting very, very good feedback. And in fact, I have people saying to me that they're voting for me for the first time this time around. So that is encouraging. And again, it all, it's all uh, coming to play now. Uh, whenever we see the votes counted and see how that pans out. People can tell you one thing and do another thing. I'm quite conscious of that. But I think from the feedback that we're getting on the door, I'm confident that we will consolidate the DDP vote in West Street. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been the easiest of elections. There has been a few controversies, especially surrounding Jim Wales and things like that there. So, I mean, have you been hearing about that when you speak to people at the doorsteps? Very, very seldom. Uh, very, very seldom, yes. It would be, be wrong to say that it hasn't been raised. It has been raised on a few occasions, but very seldom. But any, any person that has raised it with me has been in support of the comments of Jim Wells, has been in support of the stand that he has taken. And do you support the stand? That and Jim has Wells been in support of the, of the stand that the party has taken. What, what I do is, I, I, you know, Peter Robertson, the party leader, has made the stand of the party quite clear in this. And that's where I stand on. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, that's where, where we stand on it so far as um, these issues are concerned. Okay. Some people have linked the, uh, that week to the absence of yourself and another party colleague for two debates in recent weeks. So, I mean, can you clear that up for us now? Uh, the, the, the debate? Look, I will clear that up. Uh, the reason that I didn't attend the debate in Mr. Larch was nothing at all to do with comments that Jim Wells said, or was nothing at all to do with issues that may have been raised around same-sex marriage or the quality of marriage, or nothing like that, because I'm quite happy to stand up and to um, defend my position on that. But the whole issue was regarding uh, the, the fact that we, w we couldn't get people into the event. I mean, uh, two weeks before the event, I had quite a number of people came into my office and rang my office saying, what's wrong, Tom, that we can't get into this event? I didn't know. So here I took and I rang the Mr. Larch and I said, look, where's the problem? We have a number of people here who are unable to get into this event. And they said, well, look, the fact is Sinn Féin has blocked out over 200 seats. Mm -hmm. And well, there's, that's, there's that's another... There, when, when, kind of well, there, there's another youth group that has booked more, which would have, would have the same length, and that is why you can't get in, and we'll see what we can do. At four o'clock in the evening of the event, they rang to tell us we can offer you six or eight tickets, whatever it is, to get in. Well, I have a decision to take. Am I going to be part of a Sinn Féin election platform, election year platform, or uh, am, am I not going to go to? And I have no desire whatsoever to be part of a Sinn Féin election platform for this work was. If, if, you have a, if, if I, as a, a Democratic Unionist party member, had a book over 200 seats in, in a stadium where there was 340 seats, people would have had a right to say this was for everyone, or it was open for everyone, but the DUP has booked over 200 seats. What are they doing? This is an election stunt for them. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that's, that's how I looked at it. Well, there already was Sinn Féin had 50 seats and they were in the actual minority in the total audience. So, I mean, we've had some DUP voters express disappointment. I mean, how do you respond to them? Well, I mean, didn't stand up well the, 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 the issue with the DUP voters, uh, you know, what, whenever the, it was explained to them, anyone that had it had a difficulty and some uh, asked them why it didn't attend. Whenever I told them the reason and I explained it to them, they fully understood it. In fact, there were some people who said, yeah, it was quite clear from the audience that Sinn Féin had booked a quite a number of seats. But if Sinn Féin didn't block book over 200 seats, why then were we told that from the, from the people that were rang when we were rang looking for seats and for tickets we couldn't get any? Why then were we told that Sinn Féin had blocked book over 200 of the seats in, in the um, auditorium? I mean, that, that, if, if you're saying that didn't happen, well then I think somebody has to give me answers as to why that didn't happen, or, or why why I think we were told that, it, that this was the, the actual uh, way that it was happening, you know? If you took the decision not to attend, Tom, can you explain why you didn't have organised it, that you weren't attending? Because, look, I, I, at, at the last minute, I felt, look, um, here's a Sinn Féin of Action uh, platform, as an election stunt for them, I'm not going to be part of that. They want to election year, they're quite happy, to, they're quite free to do that, but they'll do it on their own without the support of the DUP. I wasn't going to do it. What I did do, 
was I took and informed us, or, or I took a decision that I would go and I would canvass on the doors, I would put my time to better use, I would canvass people on the doors and ask for their vote because I'm I'm a sort of person who don't take people for granted. I always say, right, if, if I want people to vote for a, for me, I have to ask them for a vote and, and, and explain to them why I think they should vote for me.